So your entire career you worked in the in the spinning room? Yeah. Now, did anything, um, how did, did it change the way you made things uh, throughout your whole career, or was it pretty much the same? Well, uh, they had some new frames to come in. They, mm -hmm. uh, they were always uh, making changes down there. Uh, then after I retired, I, they called me and I went back and worked a little bit in the spin room for them. And then uh, they didn't need me, so I come back home. And then they called me one day and asked me to come down to the uh, personnel office. Said that there was a man that was working down there, uh, late, uh, one of the ladies that was working for him, she was going was pregnant, she was gonna quit work. And I told him I had never done that kind of work before. And he said, well, it's not hard, we'll show you what to do. So I was supposed to go, uh, go down there and work cause she was gonna stop. Mm -hmm. And she was planning to come back after she had a baby, but she didn't never come back. And I kept on working, well then they went on short time and there was a man down in the uh, Abbott room. One, he was one of the boss men, like, they had a different boss men, you mm -hmm. know, for each shift. Well, uh, he told me he hated to let me go. He said, I said, well, that's all right, cause I knew I'd just come down here to work till that lady come back, and she didn't come back, so I kept on working. Right. He said, you're one of the best workers I've ever had. Mm -hmm. And he said, and I hate to let you go, he said, but they're going on short time and they got a man down in the Abbott room they're going to send up here. And he used to tell me, he said, you don't have to have all your work and your workplace cleaned up when you get ready to go home. I said, yeah, but when I come in the next morning, I like to start new. I don't like to have no back work. Mm -hmm. I always try to get all, get all my work done every day before I leave. Mm -hmm. He told me, he said, I hate to let you go, he said, but I, that's the way it works. I said, well, when I come down here to work for you, I know that I didn't come down here to work all the time. Mm -hmm. I was just supposed to work till that lady got mm -hmm. able to come back to work. But she decided she didn't want to come back to work. And it was nearby at Christmas, it was in December. And I was hoping I could work, you know, till after Christmas, but mm -hmm. they went on short time. So I told him, I said, that's all right. I know when I come to work, it won't be. Mm -hmm. But he was one of the best person I ever worked for. I worked for some good ones in the, in the, in the spinning room. And I worked for some that weren't so good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> and, well, they didn't get by me. Yes, ma'am. I, I used to come home, I'd be so upset every evening. I'd go in every morning, and the, the third shift woman would have, have my work messed all up, some of them would be stopped off. And one morning I went to my boss, man, I told him, I said, I'm gonna need some help, <laughs> help this morning. He said, he said, well, I said, they got them balled up, stopped off. He said, well, you need help when everybody else does. So I turned around and come on out and went back to my job. But he went and got help and put it on. <laughs> He told me up there in that other department that I was working for that last man, he said, uh, he told him, he said, I didn't know she was in here working. He said, yes, yeah. said, she's good too. He said, yes, yeah. she said, she was the best spinner I had. said, I hated to see her retire. He said, but me and her had our, our fault, our difference. I said, yeah, if he give it to me, I give it back to him. <laughs> <laughs> But I enjoyed working down there. The balance was good people to work for. Mm -hmm. Now, what was it like working in the spin room? Was it all, um, you said the boss man would be a man, but was it all other women in the spin room or? No, there was men working in there too. Huh. The men, uh, you don't know nothing about it when I tell you about dolphin and I mm -hmm. uh, say they, the man would come along when the bobbins would get full of thread they, they would come along and dock them off and put an empty one on it, and then I'd run it until they got full again. Then they'd come back and dock it off and put on mm -hmm. empty one. That's what the men done. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, and now, um, how many frames did you did you work when you were in the spinning room? Well, when I first went to work down there and learned how to do it, uh, I was learning about uh, about eight sides, mm -hmm. and then then they kept adding on to you. And when I first went to work, see that the roping, they made the roping. They ran, they had the cotton up in the card room, and they mm -hmm. made the roping. It was on a big old thing that come right. down to, to us, and we put it up, and that's where we made the thread from that that cotton that was on it. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, when I first went to work uh, and I learned how to do the work. I had about eight size, and I could go to work. I clean my job up. My job, I clean my job up good, and I'd take me a book, huh. and I set up on a box of roping and read that book. <laughs> I'd go. I clean up my frames, and uh, when I have them cleaned up good, I go over there and sit down and read, and I go back around and, and see if I had any ends down. I put them all up. Go back and sit. <laughs> But for I, when I retired, I couldn't do that. Cause when I retired, I was learning about twenty francs. Wow. And uh, see, the men used to, uh, they had a man to come around and put the roping up on top of your front. Mm -hmm. But when I retired, I had to push my roping around in a box mm -hmm. to every side. Wow. And I had twenty sides. And when I when I retired, it was getting hard. It won't like it was when I first went to work. Now, was it when you retired? Was everybody working twenty sides like that, twenty frames, or was it just some you? of them had more than that? Wow. And every time I get a, a set of get my job caught up good and have it cleaned up, if you keep it, if you kept the job cleaned up, your ends would run better. Cause see, they had a blower to run around. Mm -hmm. And if you didn't keep your job cleaned up, it would blow the lint out, and that would turn your end down. Mm -hmm. If you didn't put that end back up, and it kept that cotton kept running through, it would mess it all up, make more cotton down. But uh, sometimes the blowers would would uh, blow the if you didn't keep your job cleaned up. And the lint out, it would blow that lint into that end, that would turn that end down. And if you didn't go back and put that end up, and that cotton kept running through there, after a while it would get around the, the roll, there's a steel roller there, it would get around that, and you had a hook, you had to pull it off. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of, about spinning that if you didn't keep it clean. But but when I was tired, it was it was getting harder all the time. And now, why why were people doing more um, more sides? Uh, were there just less people working, or, or more frames, or what? Well, everybody they had gave everybody more sides. Mm -hmm. And then they take the man that used to bring you roping around, put it up on the frame. Right. But then you had to run, uh, you had to push it in the box. We had you had a little box. You had to go and get it and push it, push that box of weapon around every side. So well, twenty, really they, they twenty. Kind of Somehow, some some of them had twenty and twenty two sides. Wow. See, it was getting hard when I retired. But then after I retired, I went back in the spin room. Yes, ma'am. They called me and asked me to come back and work a little while. I'd go down and work a little while, but I didn't have to run no more sides like that. So what were you doing then? Uh, um, I just work around in the spinning room. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I, they had rollers, you know. Yes, ma'am. Well, you had to pick them rollers to keep that cotton pick. Mm -hmm. But in year and uh, later years, they had a, a a thing that you go around with it, electric, and pick it. Huh. You didn't have to pick it with your hands. I pick, I picked them rollers a lot of times with my hands. Would get all my funds would get all fested up, Ooh. but and see as years went on, they had different things, new stuff coming in all the time. Mm -hmm. So it was, uh, it would have been a, a lot easier 
at the last, if I hadn't had so many friends. Right. But she had a 20 size. She got to push that box of roping around all them sides. You got to put the roping in mm -hmm. when it runs out, and you try not to let it run out. Because you, if you a uh, piece of roping that's in there is right ready to come off, you know, you can take it out and twist it off and put your new, new one in there. And that way your end don't come down. Right. But if it runs clean out, you got to put your end back up and all that stuff. Now, where in the where in the mill was the uh, was the spinning room where you worked? Huh? Um, where where in the mill was the spinning room where you worked? What floor was that? Uh, I worked on the first floor. On the first floor. The first floor was the spinning room, and upstairs was the card room. Mm hmm And down from that, they had an abbot room. Right. And then the on down farther, they had a, a finishing department and a, a twister room. Now, what was it? What was it like in the the spinning room? What, what it, was it? Huh? What was it like in the spinning room? Was it what how was many it? people were in there and how many people were working? And, and what was it? Hot in there or loud or? Wow. We had a lot of people working in the spinning room. Mm -hmm. I had a lot of women and a lot of men. Because right. the men it off the frames off. When the bobbin got pulled, they put an empty one on there. That roping is what made that end. Right.